Today I'm going to teach you how to create a CRT effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hopefully you enjoy. Let's get straight into the video. First go to your effects panel, go to video effects, distort and lens distortion and drag it onto your clip. Now if we increase curvature, it'll emulate a CRT TV screen where the edges are a little bit distorted inward. And you could go ahead and uncheck fill alpha or set the color as black. I'm going to make this a little more subtle and set it at 16. Next, you want to apply the effect called mosaic and drag it onto your clip. You want to check on sharp colors and you want to increase this number to about 400. So we did 400 for both. So by applying mosaic, we actually pixelate the image very slightly. And I'm going to drag mosaic on top of lens distortion. Next, you want to add Gaussian blur and drag it onto your clip. And we're also going to drag this on top of lens distortion. And we're going to set this at a very low number like two or three. So let's do three. Now we're going to do a bit of color grading. So this is very simple. We're going to increase the exposure, increase the white, increase the contrast a little bit, and then increase the black a little bit. And in creative, we're going to just turn down vibrance a tad bit. And we're going to go over to shadow and tint. We're going to make the shadow a sort of like reddish. And we're going to make the highlight tint a little bit blue. So if we turn on and off Lumetri color, you can see how that looks like. Next, go over to vignette and you can decrease the amount to make it a dark vignette, or you can increase the amount to make it a light vignette. Here's how it looks like with the vignette on and off. Next, we're going to apply the main effect and we're going to use the effect called grid and drag it onto our clip. First thing you want to do is change the blend mode to overlay and you want to set the color as black. And so now we have a grid, but we want to make it much, much smaller. And you also want to move grid on top of Lumetri color. You want to go over to width and hide sliders. And where it says width, you can set it at a low number like eight and height. You want to set it at a very high number like 4,000 and you want to decrease the border. The border is basically the thickness of the line. So we're going to do like three or we can even do two. If we zoom in, we can see that there's a line in the middle. That's basically the anchor. So just adjust the Y position so that it gets off screen. And that's essentially how you create vertical bars to create horizontal bars. You want to do the opposite. So you can type in 4,000 as the width and eight as the height. And now we have horizontal bars. And when it comes to this line in the middle, once again, we're going to change the X position. And now we don't have anything. And if you want to create an effect where there's vertical and horizontal bars, you want to make sure that the width is eight and the height is 4,000 and go change this mode to width slider. And now you have an actual grid. And so if you zoom in here, we have individual pixels. Some ways you can tweak this is you can adjust the border size. So if you want to make it one, it's a lot more subtle or you can make it thicker. You can also invert the grid. You can also change the color of the bars if you want. So in this case, we have red color. And so if we zoom in, it has a different look to it. You can also add the noise effect and make this very subtle as well. And you want to make sure this is on top of Lumetri color. And so I'm going to so I'm going to increase it. So I'm going to set it at around 15. Now we're going to add flickering. And we're going to change the settings so that they're very subtle. So I'm going to search up strobe light right here and drag it onto our clip. So to make this very subtle, we want to make blend with original a really high number like 95 for strobe duration and period. I'm going to set them both at one for random strobe probability. We want to set it around 35 to 50. I'm also going to change the strobe to mix layer transparent and change the strobe operator to add. And you can also change the random seed if you want different sort of variations of this flicker. That's about it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video, you might want to check out the end screen for a playlist for more Premiere Pro tutorials. Subscribe.